Hello friends, it's Cindy Brumbaugh from CindyLeeBDesigns.com, independent stamping up demonstrator. Today is a card you definitely want to see in a video because it's going to be hard to take photos of. Now look at that, isn't that cute? So you do want it to sit up though, but you've probably seen this one floating around and it's called the triple diamond step card. You've got steps on your card base and then a triple diamond design here. Super easy to make. The only hard or long part of it is doing the coloring, but it was fun. I put my little granddaughters down and I had a few minutes of breathing air. And so I brought out my perfectly penciled DSP that has these beautiful hand-drawn pencil designs in black and white. And then the back side has all of these great black and white designs, kind of like a distressed look there, stripes, flowers, polka dots. Um, some cross hatching there. This really beautiful paper. And I just picked one out that would go nicely with a random pattern so that when I colored it, any way I put it would work. And so I just on this one used my real red blends with my dark daffodil delight and dark granny apple green. And I used those really fun stylish shapes dies and I use the banners out of there. I use a new stamp set I just got, the Hope and Prayer one, and I just put this, I thank my God every time I think of you, and I put that on the front because I think this is a card that could just sit on somebody's desk or on their windowsill or wherever they'd like to display it, just a just a reminder to them, kind of like a little, little piece of a decoration for them to keep out for a little while. And then on the back, I just step, uh, stamped, you are in my prayers. So that just a reminder to a friend, just a little uh, pretty, just a just because. Um, it could be a great one for a sympathy, somebody going through uh, you know, a grieving process. It would be nice just to be a reminder to know somebody's thinking about them. So hope and prayer. Oh, I love this little dove there. Under his wings, you will find refuge. I really I hope he anchors the soul. A really nice, um, comforting stamp set there. So let's take a look at how super easy this card will be. And I will tell you that it fits into an A2 sized envelope. And I'm going to show you how I use my envelope here too as a little measurement guide. So the first thing we're going to start out with is our black card base. You're going to cut your card base on the 11 inch side down to nine and a quarter. Okay, it's gonna be five and a half by nine and a quarter. And you're gonna take that nine and a quarter inch side up at the top. Now I am gonna open up my trimmer so I can use the whole part of that trimmer. I think, okay, let's put this over here. So five and a half by nine and a quarter. And we'll put that over there. We're gonna put this over here. We are going to score at one. Always um, make sure your cutting blade is at the top when you're scoring. So we're gonna score at one. And we're gonna score at two. at three and a half, trying not to shake the table and get you guys all dizzy. And we're gonna go to five, and then seven and one half, one eighth. Seven and one eighth. Two of the smallest marks on there. Seven and eighth. One, two, three and a half, five, seven and eighth. Okay, that is our card base. And I think what we're gonna do is go ahead, okay, that was five and a half by nine and a quarter score. One, two, three and a half, five, seven and eight. I'll just kind of leave that there for you guys, okay? So these are the pieces of the step and we may as well, why, while we have this unfolded, we may just take and put our DSP on there now while we can really see the score lines on there, okay? So I used the back side of the one that had the straight up flowers. The flowers are really uniform and I just used the back of that. I'm going to get my glue out here and I'm going to put that first. The 
section. This will be my first step here. And I'm just gonna put that right in that one inch section there, that three quarters. And that measurement is three quarters by five and a quarter. Since this is five and a half, we're going into five and a quarter. And this section was one inch and we put three fourths. Now this won't be seen, but this next piece will be seen. And this next piece that's gonna fit in there is gonna be one and a quarter by five and a quarter. I said I was gonna start doing this, writing out the measurements and putting them on the screen until I take the time to see. You can get a better look at that one. That's a pretty nice uh, design as well. But I wanted something more subdued right here. And this is a perfect one there. And that one and a quarter fits in there. Then this will not be seen. And then this is our last scene, last part that you'll be seeing. And that one is one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. I'll just show you how you know you're, you see those there, okay? So we're gonna put glue on this one, one and seven eighths. I hate covering up the back of a DSP when I like that. And normally I would say that is a DSP that you do not want to um, cover up because it's colorable where this isn't, but I did need some neat look here. If you don't want to cut that up and you still have the celebration paper that went with the um, hand penned, that's another distressed black and white. You could pull from. Okay, so there we go. We have our one and three fourths, one and a quarter, and one and seven eighths, and those are the sections, and they're all five and a quarter. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Okay, actually, why don't I just put that there for you to see, if you wanna write them down, but all the, underneath uh, the YouTube description, it says visit my blog here. You can press that link, it takes you over to cindyleebdesigns.com. I'll have all the measurements there, links to my online store, products I used, measurements, but you'll also see that underneath the YouTube description. You'll see all of that in the that section. And then this one is gonna be where we write our message, but we'll do that in just a moment. So the next thing we're gonna do is take, oh, we're gonna set this aside for just a second. We're gonna take a look at these little squares here. Oh my golly, oh my golly. You know what, I forgot to cut the black pieces. Let me grab a piece of black cardstock. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. Well, we'll just do it right here. Get another piece of black. You just take a look at that for a second. Um, I'm walking around very gingerly because I have things all set up here and I don't want to go smashing the camera. <laughs> okay, so this biggest um, black, I'm going to go from the biggest black down to the smallest black square. So the first black square is going to be two and seven eighths. So you're just going to go right before, two little marks before the three, and that's the seven eighths. Okay. There we go. And then just do that again, two and seven eighths. Okay. And then we need another one that is two and five eighths. I can just use the same piece here I was cutting with. Two and five eighths. So you're just gonna go to two and a half and go two past that, right before your three quarters. I think I am cut right on that. I had a score line on there. Yeah, that worked. Two and five eighths. That's our next one. Let's just do this for you. Okay. And then our smallest one is two and three eighths. 
2 and 3 eighths is right before the 2 and a half, right there. I was talking with my friend Cheryl the other day, talking about, she goes, those eighths mess me up. And I said, well, just think about in between each one of these inch marks, there's 16 little ones, and just count them. That's how I finally started thinking in those dimensions. So it's really not too bad. So two and three eighths. So we've got our sections there. And then you can praise Jesus that I colored these all in already. <laughs> so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna bring these down one level here. So you're gonna bring it down an eighth. I've seen this done with a tighter border, but I really like to see, I liked seeing the black really prominent on the card. So I went ahead and made them that way. So if this is two and seven eighths, that means this will be two and five eighths. This is two and five eighths. This is gonna be two and three eighths. Oh, you can't see that, can you? Do -do -do. Move over one, over one, over one. And then if this is two and three eighths, this will be two and one eighth. So we'll go ahead and put those on there. And as I, that's just a sample of how, uh, an example of how our blends bleed through. And I knew that this glue was gonna go, but I kind of cheated and I took all my good glue. Let me see here, what do I have here that we can use? I think all of my adhesives are out. Let's use my fine tip here. Okay, if my video is messed up just because my glue isn't working. There we go. All right, so we're gonna put this two and one eighth on to the square that turns magically into a diamond when you just twist it. Okay. There we go on that one. So if you wanna take a look at what those measurements look like there, and then this one, I'm gonna flip that over. I like that, I almost used that polka dot as well. I think that's a pretty pattern there. And we're gonna pop that onto the two and five eighths. I do like tight borders on things, but sometimes they might, just doesn't wanna work for me. So two and three, two and five eighths and two and three eighths. Okay. And then this last one is two and seven eighths and we're gonna put the two and five eighths on it. I was at my son's babysitting my um, little grandies yesterday and then my, son, my husband had to go do something and he stopped over and I had one of them in nap land and the other one was just playing so sweetly on the floor just crawling around and I'm sitting on the couch coloring these he says oh so it's this coloring time and I said yes coloring time for grandma believe it or not this is something that I needed to get done today <laughs> and something quiet that I could do instead of cutting paper well my oldest one was napping. Oh golly. So those are the measurements for the, the biggest one with the border and DSP, border, DSP, border, DSP. Okay, so now we're just gonna pop these onto the card. Okay, I'm gonna put these up here. I don't know, I don't know if these are helpful at all. They, they were helpful for me to remember to tell you that. Okay, so now we're gonna take, and we are going to fold this into our step card, okay? So this is gonna be the first part you see, and then you just accordion fold each one. See how that, how cool that looks there when you're folding it back and then back, and you see where we're going with this? We're seeing the three steps, and then fold down here, and that's gonna be the back where we can write our message. And why don't we just go ahead and do that? I'm using Memento Black. And this piece here is also the same size as our biggest one on this side here. So it's one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. 
and I'm just gonna get some ink on this. There we go. Make sure I'm stamping it the right way. I'm gonna put my grid line there so I can just see that grid line. And I'm just gonna stamp that right on the bottom. Give it a little pressure, one, two, three. Lift it up, you are in my prayers. What a nice reminder to someone. Just put a little bit of glue on these edges here. This is running out, it's very nice and thin. So remember what it looks like. These are your steps, and when it's turned over, you'll have, you're in my prayers. So let's just, got a little wiggle room with that glue. Let's make it straight there, Cindy. I'm going to have to take a little look here, just for myself here, to get this straight. Hmm, looks like I could shave that down a tad. But I think what I'll just do is make sure that I've got the same amount on each side there. Hmm, might just be where I'm at here. And luckily it's not a ton of glue, but I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna just give that a little bit of a shave down on my trimmer. Just a little, just a tad there. Make sure I put it on the right way. Yes, I like that a little better. There we go. You write a little message there. Okay, here's a little trick when you're putting together these. Find one that has a nice orientation. You know, the thing about this, I just wanted to use these and color these in, but you could use any um, designer series paper. You really don't put any sentiments on them because you don't really, as you notice, you don't really see the sentiments on it. So pick some really pretty DSP and then you can put it on there. So we're gonna put, now you can either use grid paper if you have, I suggest if you haven't ever purchased it, it's very economical. There's a hundred sheets of this size, 11 by 17, 11 by 18, 12 by 18, um, that have a hundred sheets in that for like $12. And I use this all the time. So you could use the grid on here to measure, but you can also, use your envelope as your template because then you'll know how high they can go but I'll tell you right now if you've used these dim dimensions it's going to fit because you're going when you put this it can't go down it can't go up any further unless I mean you could put it this further but if you go down um, you're gonna be fine uh, it's not you know don't push but if you use your envelope I'm gonna put some glue on here and I'm only using a little bit of the bottom there Okay, and what I did when I used my grid paper is I picked a section. Okay, all right. I picked a section here on my grid paper and I went over, you know, to five and a half. I knew it was gonna fit, but I wanna make sure this is not gonna be any further up than four and a quarter. So I'm just putting this in here, and it seemed to me that like three quarters on each side worked, and you can see it's gonna fit underneath that. And I'm just taking these diamonds, and they're right about at the top. These points on this diamond's right at the top of your card, and it's gonna fit into the four. I mean, if we put it as a cardstock four and a quarter, but our envelopes are just an, an eighth of an inch bigger. So you can see here when I open this, it goes right down to the bottom before the score line and the crease. Okay, your next one is a piece of cake because we can take this away. Because when you go to put this on here, I just put the... Um, I just put the, I wanted it to 
be bordered this way and then it had to fit within there. So then you just have to be careful where you're putting your glue because it's on the bottom there. The Kraken has arisen. <laughs> I can hear Jim there with his, eye, his uh, news going, turning off the alarm. Okay, so we're just gonna line, I just lined up these two lines here and then you're just going to line up this bottom one. And the small, each time you get a little bit smaller with your glue, but know exactly where you're doing it because you don't want it to glue down. Just a little bit there. And then, like I said, you just line up so you have a nice border there, line up your squares, and you'll see I have it all uniform there and it doesn't, it's flush with the bottom so that we're there. Okay, so then I looked for something to be here. And what I did, was I used the polished pink on here with the daffodil and the dark granny apple green. And then I just put my cinnamon on here. So I'm just gonna put some glue on the top of the cinnamon here because I just put it right here. And then I popped it up with dimensionals in the middle here. And I'm gonna get this video done before I tell Jim that he is making noise in the kitchen. So if we can hurry through this, and I will show you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me at 724-323-2296. You can also, um, email me at cindyleeb at gmail.com. You can comment on my YouTube post, on my blog post. If you don't get me on one, please try another one. You know how texting, um, then I wanted this, I actually I put it a little bit over too far. Um, there, we, oh, I wanted to, the, di the diamond edges to fit together here. I can fix that in my video, but here's two fun cards using the Perfectly penciled DSP with the hope and prayer stamp set your triple diamond step card Thanks for buzzing by friends